Hello, my dear students. Here is Miss Polong. Today we shall discuss Class 5 English 1, Chapter 12, on a topic, the Selfie Giant 1. Okay, now let me give you a brief introduction about the author. The Selfish Giant 1 author was Oscar Wilde. He was born on 16 October 1854 in Westland Road, Dublin, Ireland, and died on 13 November 1900s in Irish French. He is a highly protective Irish author. He wrote plays, fictions, essay, short poems, which was epigrams and poetry. And he was graduated from Oxford University and was one of the most popular players of its time. The plot of the story was introduced by imagining a big garden free for all children to play and have fun. Okay, now let's begin the story about the selfish giant one. The story begins with a big garden that all children can play in. This garden belongs to giant. And he was away for many years to visit a friend place. Then the children of neighborhood they used to visit the beautiful gardens of giants every afternoon. Then the children still liked the gardens as it was full of fruits, trees, lovely flowers, plants, and many chirping birds. And then in the spring seasons, the gardens look beautiful with blossoms. And then during spring seasons, the gardens look beautiful because flower plants produce flowers of fitness colors. And then there was a sweet songs of birds fill the air. And then there was a green grass at one corner of the gardens. It was very charming for the children and it was a marvelous place for them. So in the giant's gardens, there was a plenty of space to play and run above and set the trees to sit under and relax. The no gardens could have been better, so they used to play happily in the giant's gardens. And the children they used to talk to each other and say that how happy we are. But then one day the giants come back. And he was very angry to find children running and jumping all over his gardens. Then some of them were sitting on the branches of his precious fruit trees and some were eating the fruits of his gardens. Then the giant shouted at the children that what are you all doing in my gardens? And he chased the children away. After he chased away the children, the giant told himself that this garden is mine and he won't allow anyone to play in. And also he built a high wall around it and put a signboard outside that trespassers won't be persecuted. So after he came back, he, the giants, built high walls and chased away the children and he put a signboard trespassers will be persecuted as he was very selfish and he did not allow the children to play in his garden so the children had no place to play. Then they tried to play on the road but there was a full of holes and ditches so they had to stop their games often to allow the vehicles to pass. And it disturbed their games so the children they did not like to play on the road. And they wanted to back they wanted to go back to the giant's gardens, but they often climbed the walls of the giant's gardens and peeped inside and then they saw the fruit trees and flowers plants all look sad without them, without the children. The fruit trees and flowers plants, they invite the children to come in, but the children dare not to go in because giants was, was mighty and strong, so the children thought that he could harm them, so they just admire his gardens from outside. Then the spring seasons came and every year, there were fine little buds and plants. The trees began to put on new leaves and branches. Birds also came back, and then the air was filled with sounds of their sweet chirpings. The hard and dry days of winter were over and nature was happy. So the grandeur of nature began, but in the gardens of the selfish giants it was still winter. And then the trees in his gardens were bare and they had no new leaves. The flowers plants looked empty, they had no flowers, no bird visited his gardens. And it is too cool in the giant's gardens and they said to one another and stayed away from his gardens. But snow and frost like the place and it is a nice place to live in we shall do here for the whole year they said to themselves and then for a whole day and night it snow and snow in the gardens in the giant's gardens and snow covered the trees plants and the grasses then the north wind found the gardens and idle place to blow freely 
She danced around us in happiness. She took the trees and then the plants and they trembled in fear. The north wind invited her friends Hell to visit the giant's gardens and said that you will find no better place on earth to visit you will surely like this place. So as the north wind invited her friends Hell, so the Hell came and poured down rains of Hell, uprooting trees and the plants. And she also liked the place and stayed on and then the selfish giants as he sat at his window and so full of snow at the garden, the selfish giant said that, I cannot understand why spring is let in coming. Spring will come, maybe it is let this year, the giant said to himself. Then the, but the spring did not come, nor the summer. Then autumn gave golden fruits to every garden, but it gave none to the giant's garden, as because he was too selfish. Let us not visit his gardens, said Autumn and went away without entering the giant's gardens. So in the first part of the story, the giant's gardens were full of fruit trees and flower plants and it was very beautiful but as he was selfish and put a sign board that no one is allowed to enter in his gardens, the giant was left with nothing. And everywhere around the giant's gardens, trees put on new leaves, birds came back and nature were happy. But even the seasons like summer autumn did not enter the giant's gardens as there were no children to play in the gardens. So students, this is the end of the story about the selfish giant. As he was selfish, he was left with nothing. Thank you students. Stay home and stay safe and always keep in touch with your books.